guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my Amazon and my book outlet haul. I did it again. I went ahead and I got some more books from my home library and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. So if you're interested in today's video, just then just go ahead and keep on watching. So you guys, the first book series that I got from Amazon, it definitely brings back a lot of memories, especially from my childhood. And I really wanted to pass that on to my daughter. And when I found it, I could not believe it. And it was such a steal. I ended up finding the Addie American Girl collection for my daughter to read. And I'm really excited about these chapter books just because we are going to be studying American history this school year. And I really think that these are gonna be some really cool independent slash read aloud readers that we can do, especially when we get to this specific time uh, period within our history. And I'm so excited I was able to find this set of three. You guys, these books are used, but their condition is beautiful. It's perfect and I cannot wait to reread these with my daughter. Even though I am going to assign some of them for her independent reading, I still think I want us to sit together and read these aloud just because it just brings back so many good positive memories and I'm really excited for Brie to um, enjoy the Addie series. Now we are going to be doing a poetry tea time Friday this school year, just because I didn't do that much poetry last year, but I do want to incorporate that more inside of our homeschool. So I went ahead and I got some of the books recommended from Tori from the Oglesby Ohan, and I'm so excited to dig into them. And the first book that I got was Hip Hop Speaks to Children. And I'm really excited about this book because it does come with a CD-ROM and it has like all the beats and the tunes and things like that, that we can listen to to as we read along in the book. So I'm very excited to add like some flair into our poetry tea time this school year. Poetry for Young People by Maya Angelo. So I'm really excited about reading this book with Brielle. I really want her to possibly memorize some of the poems in this book just because, I mean, Maya Angelou, her poems are classic. I mean, they just breathe life. And I really feel like this is gonna be a really cool thing for Brielle to memorize maybe one of them. So we're just gonna read through these poems and if any one of them speaks to her, that's the one I think I'm gonna challenge her to memorize. Now, I also got Ashley Bryan's ABCs of African American Poetry to go along with our Poetry Tea Time as well. Now you guys, I went ahead and I got some seasonal books to add to my home library just because I really didn't have any. And last year I really utilized the Epic Reading app and I just casted a lot of the books digitally uh, from my phone onto our TV so we can read some fall books, especially when it was fall time. Our library was closed and that was the second best thing. However, I'm really excited to add a couple of fall books into our collection. And the first fall book, again, that was a recommendation from Tori from the Oglesby Ohio is Magnificent hum, Homespun Brown. So I'm really excited to read this. I'm excited for this book to be in our home library. And yeah, another book that I got was Goodbye Summer and Hello Autumn. Now I went ahead and I got Christmas books too as well. These two books that I'm gonna share with you from that are Christmas books are recommendations from the Heritage Mom blog. You guys, I know I keep on talking about her, but her book recommendations are like gold. And I'm really happy that I was able to find these books on Amazon. I did purchase these books used and I'm so excited for us to read these when we hit Christmas time. And the first one that I got was Grace at Christmas. And you guys, this one's really cool because this actually used to be an old library book. I think this one was from yeah, this one was from Austin Public Library. So this book has came to our home all the way from Texas. So I'm really excited for us to go ahead and read this one during Christmas time. And I also got the All I Ever Want Christmas Doll. So yeah, you guys, I do have some seasonal books and everything like that. So I'm really excited about those. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into my book outlet haul now. So the first book that I got from Book Outlet is from the desk of Zoe Washington. I'm really excited for Brie to read this and I think we're probably going to do this as a read aloud. We might not get to this book this year and um, that's perfectly fine with me, but I still love just collecting good titles and good reads that I see just to go ahead and have them for the future. So yeah, so this is from the desk of Zoe Washington. I went ahead and I picked up the Sarah Plain and Tall book. 
uh, just because this is going to go along well with us studying American history. And also too, I've seen that this was a sunlight reader. I've seen this book has become highly recommended. So I just want to go ahead and add it to my home library. This book is a really thin book. So I really feel like it's going to be a fast read and I hope Riel enjoys it. Now you guys, I went ahead and I got this book. It's called Harlem Stump and I'm so excited about this book just because the Heritage Mom blog, she has a unit study for the Harlem Renaissance and I really think I wanna do it our next semester just to add it into our history. Just because I'm not gonna lie you guys, I'm kinda overwhelmed about doing American history and I kinda wanna break it up with some other types, time periods and things like that just so it's not so overwhelming for my daughter and for me just to stay on one time period. However, I do wanna add in some spice and flair and fun in our school year. So I may end up doing that Heritage Mom pack and I'm really excited about it. So yeah, this is one of the books she recommended for that pack and it's called The Harlem Stomp. Now you guys, for my two younger daughters and also for Brielle, I went ahead and I got uh, I Believe I Can by Grace Fires. You guys, I checked this book out three times already. I hit my max for this year for checking out this book because my daughters, they love this book so much. We actually already have the other book she wrote, I Am Enough, and they love that equally. You guys, I feel like everybody needs to have this book in their home library just because these are just positive messages just showing your kids that they're gonna make mistakes, they're gonna fall, they're gonna have challenges. However, they just need to believe in their heart they can do it. They just need to get up and try again and that's pretty much the whole message behind this book and I'm really happy to have this in my home library and I'm happy to continue to read this to them as many times as they want so yeah I went ahead and I picked up Firebird and this is a book about Misty Copeland so I'm excited to have this one in my library my daughter also liked the book called Bunheads I didn't see it on book outlet at the time because if any of you guys do know about Book Outlet, their titles rotate and they always don't have the same things. So when I do find Bunheads back available in stock, I think I'm going to go ahead and get that one as well because we ended up checking that one out from the library a few times too. I got Boundless Grace and I'm really excited for us to read about this one. And I also got Not Quite Snow White. So I hope everyone loves this one too. I heard good things about this story, so I'm really excited to have this one on our bookshelves as well. Now I did went ahead and I picked up a few more seasonal books from Book Outlet too. I picked up Daniel Loves Fall for my one and my three year old. And I also picked up The Tale of Peter Rabbit and this is the board book version. So I really hope that they enjoy these two little fall books that I got for them. And yeah, we just have some more cute little books to add to our home library. And you guys, the last fall book that I got is called The Scarecrow. This actually was another recommendation from Tori from the Oglesby Ohan as well. So you guys, I'm really excited about all these fall books. I'm gonna have all the fall vibes on my bookshelf this school year and I'm really excited about that. So you guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoy seeing my haul from Book Outlet and from Amazon. And yeah, you guys, I'm very excited for us to dig into all of these new goodies and these new books. As always, you guys, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see everybody in my next one. Bye.